All right, just gonna start off throwing that micro Pompey. Just got my speed stick light, four to 10 pound. I got the TLC 2000 Luz. I got 15 pound main line, 12 pound leader on the surface stuff. Give that a crack. Ooh, been a little while since I've thrown a lure in the creeks. Tell you what, it's bloody warm in that sun. Yeah, I'm starting to heat up. <laughs> she roasting. All right, let's throw the old Himikatsu alive chatter. Where was that little bit of stick poked up? Just there. You know, another good one. See how that log goes flat like that? You can drop it off that and then flutter it this way. That's where the snags are, my bro. Oh, oh there's a fish behind it. Yeah, I saw that too, yeah, bro. Mate, there's definitely a bass there. Yes. Yeah. I, do, I do know this hole. <laughs> yeah, that was a, a fish. Bit. That was a fish. That was definitely a bass. Let's make a move. We'll make a move. G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Back up the creek with Matty Reynolds. It's been a long time coming. It's been, you got, we got bass closed season, which for some of the system above the weirs, you know, we can still legally fish as far as the regs go right now. But then we have cod closed season, Mary River cod closure, which shuts down a lot of the creeks that feed the Logan and Albert catchment. Check your regs on all that. And that's no line on water too, guys, so. Yeah, it's, it's been, uh, Matty's on this stretch of creek, he lives here. He's had guys coming in over the last couple months that like realistically, they're doing the wrong thing. You call it poaching, you call it illegal fishing. Like these creeks have been closed to all line fishing. Dudes just shouldn't be in here. And, yeah. And when you look at it too, guys, like you know how much I love, I love bass, bass flick and get a, get a line wet and um it's pretty hard for me sometimes to to not get the urge and come down here and flick a line and when i when i come down here and do my you know walk with the property or whatnot like i like i usually do it, it's pretty heart heartbreaking to see you know some young fellows or you know some older gentlemen fishing fishing crossing fences and you know it's no line of water um at that time so yeah. I'll, I'll let them know the rules and, and the regulations so Unfortunately, there's always people that, you know, either uneducated or choose to do the wrong thing. But like I said, we're not going to harp on that. Time's up. It's past the 1st of November. Yes, it is. Creeks are open. You know, we've had a bit of rain recently. You know, the system's pretty dirty. She's up, mate. She's up probably about three feet. It's one of those things. We've got a day to fish, so we're going to fish, you know. I got, I got the old Imakatsu Alive Chatter, little top water bait, jackal uh, micro pompey. Reynolds is going to have chump tied on. And a micro pompey. And as a well, pompey. Right? Oh, this is it. We're going fishing. Let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Here we go. Woo! Let's open it up with a good one. Yes. Yep. Yeah, yeah well fish. Done. Oh, he's going for that snag. That's where, that's where I was gonna throw. Oh, he's over. Is oh. he? He's up in there. Nice. He's a nice one, bro. A good bass. Looks like a good. That's bass. a good bass. Yes. Oh, that's a cracking bass, mate. I've landed some good ones of late from that snag. That's a nice bass. Yeah, bro. He'd be tipping. He'd be close to forty. He's a fat little dude, man. Well done. That's a cracking bass, mate. There you go. Look at that for a bass. That is a gorgeous specimen. If you're doing tips, that would go 40. We don't measure a lot. I actually bought, I don't know if I threw it in. I bought the fish film at a brag, mate. We could uh, throw it on the map, but I don't think I threw it in the bag. <laughs> but that just ate that Imakatsu alive chatter. We threw top water over this pool. There's a nice little shady pocket just on the other side. And that thing just crunched that alive chatter. That's a great start. Just on that loose speed stick light, six to 10 pound bait cast outfit, little loose BB1. I'm just running 15 pound main line. I've got a 14 pound leader on this one. You know, just cause we know that you do get the odd bit of bycatch, you know, the Mary's, you know, you don't want to be popping off, getting bricked by a big fish and leaving a lure in their mouth. But that's a great start. I'll take that any day of the week. How's that for a start? 
So what we're doing here, like we've got, like I said, we've got dirty water. There's a bit of flood water coming in. Dirty water, flash, gold. I don't know if you can see that. A lot of that gold's wearing off, but that's got the gold blade. That's the Imakatsu Alive Chatter. And top water. Like we threw top water over this pool. We made meticulous class cast to cross every little bit of water here. Went subsurface, went to that Imakatsu, straighten that shady pocket, head of the pool, water coming in prime ambush point for bass you know like they're just sitting there waiting and you know that was the undoing of that bass see this just turn on this so i can drive right away on the top side of of the crossing and come right down here which is pretty cool Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible caster with spin gear. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> dude, yes. I was about to lift that out of the water to go to the next cast. I saw that. Oh, he's off. Oh. That's a tiny oh, little bass. Really? He was in the show. Dude, he ate it like a foot off the rod tip. Those little bass, eh? Hey, they're dialed for top water. They love it, bro. They're, they just, they need every opportunity they can get. The key to this top water stuff too is typically when you land that lure, give it a second to sit. Exactly right. Those fish in that vicinity will know that something's just crashed down. You know, you can give it some hops, tweaks. You know, these walkers, they love a good walk. But I find if you just keep doing that constant same speed, you know, you get a fish following, you want to mix it up every now and then, give it a burn. Give it something to trigger that reaction. I can't remember if I've shown you guys these little rod clipping belt things. So cool. You used to try and wedge the rod under your arm or in your backpack. Just like a belt clip on rod holder. So good. Good looking bit of water though. This is another big part of this creek stuff too. You can't pass up water. As much as you get it in your head, like they're in the head pools, they're next to the big snags. I've had fish come off the back of rocks in a foot of water. I've had fish come off like sandy drop off edges, you know. The later in the day it gets, these fish start like cruising their pools. They're out looking for a feed. You get them out of some weird places at times. Like you really cannot pass up a cast. If there's an opportunity to present a lure, you've got to do it. You telling me there's not a fish along that undercut bank? Come on, bass. Yep. Oh, yes. Yeah, nice bass. Yeah, mate, on the Imakatsu Alive Chatter. Good bass. Good good bass again too, eh? Just it was coming out of that deep stuff up into the shallows, mate. Oh, he's only had a swipe at it. He hasn't quite got hold of it. Had to be one in this pool. I reckon there's more too. Yeah, he's just had a slash at it. He's got it under the chin. Yes, well done, mate. Crack a bass, too. There we go. Yeah, just pinned him under the chin. He definitely had a swipe at it. Yeah, not quite as big as that first one, but that's another nice bass. That's a good creek bass. Yeah, he's gonna go 35. Yeah, 35 fork, I reckon. Yeah, yeah good bass. Actually, I brought that fish to him at it, Matt. All right, ready? Guess the fork length. Ready, Reynolds? We'll, we'll put him on the mat. We'll see what he do, see what he goes, eh? I'm going anywhere between 30, 35. Fork length? 
fork length, possibly possibly 30, 32, 33. We're gonna go fork length. I'm gonna call him as a 33 fork length. That's what I'm calling too, mate. Oh, uh, you're bloody jumping on the bloody bandwagon. I'm wagon. calling 33, 34. All right, let's stick him on the mat and see what he goes. One, two, three, 33. Uh, I'd say 33 and a couple mil. 33 forker, hey, we, we called that. It's a good fish, that. I reckon well done, mate. We'll take that. That's not bad. Yes. Hey, how good bass yes, season, brother. Yes, brother. Awesome We're work. We're back. We're back. You can't complain about bass that size. Oh, there's another mad pool down here. That's where he's heading. Like I said, though, don't pass up water. I can't pass it up. That's another good point. Best to stay out of the water when you can. Those ripples travel a mile. And the sound of those rocks crunching under your feet. All right, then catch up. Oh! <laughs> How's that? I was just about to say, all right, I gotta catch up to Reynolds. Just went to burn that through the bottom end of the pool. Like we said, fish in the top end, fish in the bottom end. Just prove that point exactly. Ah, there he goes. He wasn't a big fish. That's cool though. And you exactly, see what I mean? That's that trigger point. I was whining that slow and I'm like, nah, all right, time to go. I'll catch up to Reynolds. Started to burn that bait, bam, gave him that trigger. He's like, oh, it's going, better eat, whack. There's no point doing the same thing, cast after cast after cast. You've got to mix it up. Even if you're not changing bait, work that bait differently. You know, give them something different. They might see it the first cast, choose not to eat it, you know, next cast. Faster, slower, more pauses, rip it harder. Mix it up. All right, we just hit 5.30. We've got a major bite period starting right now. Oh, oh and Reynolds just got hit on top water in the background. And again, he's got him. How good's that? On cue. Major bite period starting right now. Perfect time, coinciding with, uh, you know, sun. Oh, is that a cod? Well, I'm not too sure what this is, I think is, that's bro. a cod. No, nah, that's a bass. Is that a big bass? That's a big bass, the way it's fighting, bro. All right, I'll film this. How good's I'm that? Right on cue. Filming towards me, bro. Oh, that's a good bass. Dude, that's a good bass. Dude, that is a good bass. That's a cracker bass. That's what we were after, bro. Oh, there's a snag right here and he's trying to. Oh, he's in it. He's, he's in it. Me. Go. Yeah. Dude, don't even do you. Oh, dude, he's around. Holy hell, that's a big bass. Dude, that is a huge bass. He's right here, bro. Yeah, yeah, don't, don't. Let some line out. Come back. He's, he's only just pinned, bro. That's a huge bass. Dude, that is a cracking bass, man. Dude, oh. that's a big bass. Oh. Yeah, don't horse him now. You got him. Dude, that is a cracking bass. <laughs> dude. Mid fist pump. Holy dude. Uh, are you going to be able to thumb him or are you going to cradle him? Dude, that is a big bass. Yes. Reynolds. Yes. That's a 50. Matt's, that is close to a 50. Man, we're putting bro. him on the mat. Look at that. Off the turl. Off the top, guys. We called it surface by time, and look at this. Absolute chunk. Wow. Look at that. That's a beast. I'm getting my camera out for you to take some pictures for me on my phone too. All right, what do you reckon the size is, Reynolds? I'm, I'm, I'm tipping 45, guys. 45 fork? Uh, possibly. Probably a little bit bigger, probably 47 with the fork. Hold him up, give me another look. We'll make a call. 
Oh, he's got to be a 43, 44 fork, dude. He's that's he's, a big fish. He's past the 40s. That's what I'm happy Let's about. Let's put him Let's on the fish on the film. On the fish film, edit, Matt. He's over. Go to down, go down. You're not quite there. There's a lure there. 45 oh, to the top. 46 fork. Beautiful fish. On the fish film edit, Matt. Reynolds, you are a legend. Matt's Cr bass fishing on Insta Boys. No Cr wonder he's cracking. called Matt's bass fishing. Cracking bass, guys. Look at that. Where'd he go? 46. 46 fork on the mat. So about there. Oh, it's a good bass, Reynolds. That's a cracker bass, bro. And we had a fish rise up just up here and just down there. Yeah. There was two rows up while we were filming that. Right on that bite time, eh? I wasn't recording, bro. I missed your hookup. That's all right, man. It's just coming down. I'm stoked with it, though. It's just a pup compared to that last one, guys. But off the surface, my favorite type of fishing. Just a little pup, but off the top. Yeehaw. Get amongst it, people. Like a rocket. <laughs> yes. yes. Love it. How do you go, pros, man? That one just played up then. I don't know if I got Reynolds hook up. I think I missed it. Bloody GoPros. Oh, dude. Yeah, got him. <laughs> oh, he pulled the hook. Oh, he's a little guy. Let's make a move. Starting to come on, though. That's the witcher now, bro. Bit late to be tying knots, isn't it, Reynolds? Yeah, well, when you cast up a tree like a flipping womba like I was. A womba what? Don't oh, be swearing in my videos. A womba Oh, he's done it again. And, uh, yeah, snapped him off. So I'm like, coming for a swim here for a tree climb in the next couple of days. I like it. It's called fish film edit because I'll have to edit that out. Hey, pays to bring a bloody headlamp, eh? Oh, lost Reynolds. Oh, watch out. Trip hazard. No signage up. It's getting sketchy now, man. You know what I mean? Oh, right there. <laughs> right at my feet. Good on, yeah. Watch out for the spiders. Reynolds hates spiders. Hey, <laughs> Reynolds. Yeah. He's found the spiders. Oh, it's a big, big orb weaver. Oh, yes, yep, got him. A... Yes. Oh, no. No! He gave two head shakes. Big fish. Damn it! Head shake, bro. Yep, two big head shakes. And that was the gentlest slurp too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a big bass. Damn it! Yep, yeah, got him. That was better. Nah, he's not that big. We get a bit of action. We get a bit of nighttime action. That's a little bass. I'll take that. That definitely is not the size of the one that just hit me a second ago. It's a little guy. That's pretty cool though. That's pretty cool. And he's gone into the abyss. That's epic. Let's go and hit this spot and be done with it. Yep, yep got him. What is it? I don't know, but he's going to go to that snag. Beautiful bat. Oh! oh! And he just popped off. Trying to keep him away from that snag. That was a bass. Reynolds is on. Where is he? Don't know where he is. Yeah, little Mary, dude. Is it? Yeah, man, little Mary. On the chump, beautiful. Yeah, nice little Mary. What a gorgeous fish. Oh. Wicked wind there. Like this. Oh, 
little bit bite left in the skull. Oh, he's absolutely... Oh, he's swallowed it. It's underneath. Oh, he's pinning the chin. That's good. Big thumb, big thumb grips. I'm going to have a little shower, mate. Yes. Beautiful bycatch there, guys. Look at that. Just epic. That's cool, brother. That's cool. If he moves right now, he is digging this so far under my finger. Why does every moth want to fly into my mouth? What a session, Reynolds. That's cracker. Only a bass fisherman knows the feeling. 